for this edition of Dateline. And check out our Talking Dateline podcast. Josh Mankiewicz and Andrea Canning will go behind the scenes of tonight's episode. Available Wednesday in the Dateline feed wherever you get your podcasts. We'll see you again next Friday at 9, 8 Central. I'm Lester Holt for all of us at NBC News. Good night. And if you didn't feel it, you probably know someone human or canine who did. Videos from all over Southern California showing the 4.6 quake that hit this afternoon near Malibu. NBC 4's Darsha Phillips live right now near the epicenter with more reaction for us. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, I actually did not feel this earthquake, but there were plenty of people who did, especially here in Malibu, that was very close to the epicenter. There were shops and restaurants that had things fall off their shelves, but no real damage. But like you mentioned, plenty of people and pets were rattled by this quake. That's an earthquake, my friends. Holy cow. A 4.6 magnitude earthquake northwest of Malibu was felt all across our area. It was quite a doozy. I it felt it was completely underneath us. First of all, I thought maybe that a big truck was rolling past and then it just kept building. Started out a little slow and it was like three waves went through the house and shook pretty good. The quake hit just before 2 p.m. and most people were at work or at school, but many pets were at home. This video shows a small dog named Butterscotch racing downstairs as the earth rattled. Here in Malibu, close to the epicenter of the quake, it was business as usual shortly after the shaking stopped. But people couldn't stop talking about what it felt like. It hit and it rolled through our brand new house. So it was a little freaky, you know, we were a little shook up. It was one sharp shake, that was it. Just one boom shake and nothing more. I knew exactly what it was when it yeah, got me up, boy, <laughs> that's for sure. No major damage was reported, and seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says it would take a much larger quake to cause destruction here. We don't see damage to buildings below like magnitude 5 in California anymore. I mean, we've been building to withstand earthquakes for a long time. Now, many experts say we are long overdue for the big one, and earthquakes like this should be a reminder to get prepared, have an evacuation plan, and an earthquake kit. Reporting live from Malibu, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News. All right, Darsha, thank you. We have breaking news to tell you about right now from Temple City, where a sheriff's deputy was involved in some sort of accidental shooting. Robert Kovacic is live for us. Robert? Colleen, we're trying to get details for everybody, and we are inside the Temple City Sheriff substation. But as you can see behind me, there is no one here at the desk. They obviously have a lot going on, and let us show you the reasons why. This happened within the last hour. You can see the transport right here. This is a sheriff's deputy, a Los Angeles County sheriff's deputy being transported to a local hospital, to an emergency room, after apparently that deputy shot himself or herself in the leg. We believe it is a man involved in this. And as you take a look here, perhaps the best news is, is that we see the deputy appears to be okay actually getting out of that transport as they arrive at the hospital. Now, we do want to show you some other video. This is the scene outside of the Temple Sheriff Station. The Temple Sheriff Station here where I'm standing, this apparently did take place outside from the evidence that we see. But right now, it is empty inside. It's pretty much empty outside. And that deputy right now is at the emergency room being tended to after apparently shooting themselves accidentally in the lake. We're live here in Temple City. I'm Robert Kovacic. Colleen, let's go back to you. All right, Robert, thank you for that. Meantime, the uh, clock is ticking tonight for the graffiti-covered high-rise in downtown L.A., just adjacent to L.A. Live. L.A. City Council voted unanimously today to force the developer to clean it up, clean up Oceanwide Plaza. It's been abandoned since 2019, and recently, taggers have covered almost every single floor. They have until February 17th to clean up their act, to, to clean up all the graffiti, to secure the perimeter 
of ocean-wide development in downtown Los Angeles. If they don't step up, we will.